anticipate as far as roster building, collaborating with Monty going forward? Are you going to have a say? 100%. Yeah, we're going to collaborate on everything we do, whether it's the staff, the players, um, the psych department, the player development department. Uh, we're going to do that together. I believe that uh, the more brains and knowledge that we have to make decisions, the better. So that's what we'll do. So you find out after the game Sunday that you're interviewing yeah. Monday. Did you have anything to wear? Like, what was that whole process like? Like, do you have a hotel room? Like, what was, what was the whole thing? Yeah, so they, you know, in, in the plane, I think the bus was leaving at 10 a.m. And Howie called me and says, hey, you're not leaving. You're going to stay. Um, so I did had I did have something to wear because you know what we travel with and things like that. But uh, then just had to really put pen to paper, you know, and get some thoughts together a little bit. You know, I think I got over here at uh, Monty picked me up at eleven or eleven thirty from the hotel. Uh, so I had the morning to myself and uh, you know got in here and let it rip. And um, so then I was supposed to leave at six thirty. And uh, they, they said, well, you're going to stay another night. And so I went to dinner with Michael and Monty and talked some more and then woke up in the morning and uh, talked some more and then uh, got on a plane as a head coach of the Arizona Cardinals. And you flew home, got the family. Flew home, got the family, and then we left um, yesterday and got here last night. Yeah, I know. Back and forth, back and forth. Where does this uh, confidence come from? I think just who I am, honestly, you know, that's how I've kind of been shaped my whole life growing up and uh, have some success playing and, and coaching. I've been on some good teams. I've been on some bad teams too, but um, just a belief in myself, honestly, you know, and what's in my brain and what's in my heart. Um, I know it to be true. And I also think too, is I'm not afraid to learn and change. And um, you know, that's what I mean about taking everyone's opinion into consideration because you know, some there's a lot of people that know a lot more than me, and once you realize that, you have the ability to improve your game and grow. And uh, so, and I, I actively seek that out, and that's how I've always been. So, uh, hopefully, I guess it's good that I'm coming across confident because I am. <laughs> you said uh, you said that you wanted to stay for dinner, or that you they had, made me stay for dinner, right? <laughs> but you said you said that you asked. Did you say that during your press conference that you asked to stay for dinner or they made you? Uh, maybe a little bit of both. I don't, I don't know exactly how it went down, but no, I, it was more like, hey, uh, do you got stuff to stay tonight? Yeah. Okay, you're going to stay for dinner and we're going to go to dinner. That's how it was. It's kind what? of like a mutual thing, right? Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's the, you said you've been on some good teams, some bad teams. Yeah. What's the biggest difference in those? In your, is it just the talent or is it injuries or what is it? People. People. Um, you know, winning takes good people and, and good people with clearly defined roles that are a star in their role and uh, a very clear vision and everyone going in the, in the same direction of this is what we need to get done today, this is how we need to improve today and really sticking to those guns, sticking to that process and not wavering for that. So. Uh, that's what I would say, but people make this thing go. I heard you say you've talked to Kyler on the phone and, and in person multiple times now. What yeah. just initial impressions? You said you hadn't met him awesome. before. Yeah, what? I, you can tell that he's super competitive, which you have to be at that spot, and um, very self aware, uh, which I, I thought was really cool. The maturity that he shows when he when he when we talked, and um, he ultimately just like me wants to get started and want to do great things and win football games. And I think that he knows whatever he needs to do to do that for the team is, is that's what he'll do. So I'm uh, just really excited about him. Did you, you talk to you? Jalen about him? I did not. I did not. I haven't talked to Jalen since uh, the locker room since we left. So I'll probably reach out to Jalen pretty soon here. But uh, I think Jalen missed him. Um, but uh, no, I haven't. When it comes to your staff, you know, every aspiring head coach has their list of who they want to hire. Mm -hmm this late in the process? How much harder does that make to build kind of your dream staff? And how do you go about trying to get guys to be able to leave their teams and come to you? Yeah, I mean, their timing is a little bit of an issue, but if people want to be Cardinals and want to sign up with us, then they'll figure out a way to sign up with us. So I'm excited to get into that process on the flight home last night. Um, you know, I worked the entire time on that part of the process and it was really cool. Um, I think it's actually one of the cool things about being a head coach is you get to pick people. And um, I want guys that are here that uh, understand my vision for how I want coaches to coach, what's important to me, 
and um, that want to be Cardinals, and that's what we'll do. One Andrew Dusan Davis said that you would always make him the safeties coach. Is he? Did you give him a call yet? You texted him yet? Dejo doesn't want to work the hours. And he's going to be a safeties <laughs> coach. He's got too much money. One guy who's under contract here is Vance Joseph. Yeah. What's your plan? With him? I'm going to talk to him today. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to sitting down with Vance. I know Vance for a, you know a long time as a fan because he's done it at a high level. So uh, looking forward to talking to him about his vision for the defense and uh, if it blends with mine, and we'll we'll go from there. How much player last in, one. Oh, how much player input do you expect to have just with getting these guys hired? Uh, with the staff? Yeah, just with, you know, Kyler or uh, Zayvon or Isaiah with the defensive side. Not too much because I think they got to trust me to put the right people in place. But where we will get player input is what we're doing on that field. And um, I always, it's not my way or the highway. I, I talk to players a lot with, hey, this is what we need to get done. This is how I see it. How do you see it? And I listen because it, it's I'm not the one in between the white lines. They are. So uh, it will be very interactive when we get those coaches in, in place uh, with our players. And ultimately, it's because they're the ones playing. they got to be comfortable and execute and produce.